I was roaming round in Nashville in the state of Tennessee. For I love that country music, it's as soulful as can be. I have gathered their records, for I cherish every name. So I found myself a standing in the Country Hall of Fame. My heart beats some more faster as I walk in through the door. For I heard the sound of voices I had often heard before. A happy kind of sadness brought a teardrop to my eye. Now I'll tell you what I saw there, and I'm sure that you'll see why. Jimmy Rogers' railroad letters and his faithful old guitar. I could hear that old blue yodel coming from somewhere afar. Boy, Hake of in bronze like this, where the great Fred rose his friend. And I heard that Wabash cannonball somewhere around the bend. The guitar of Eddie Arnold, memories of cattle call. Chet Atkins will be with him when the work's all done this fall. From the auto harp of Maybell, wildwood flowers seem to ring. Riley Puckett and Gid Tanner, how they all could pick and sing. I could hear George Hay announcing as I stood there in the room. I could hear Tex Ritter singing his classic song I knew. Many pearls so glad to be there, and Hank Snow keeps moving on. May the Lord bless those still living, and the ones who join his throne. Cowboy Copus, Hawkshaw Hawkins, Gentleman Jim, and Patsy Klein, Rod Brassfield, Ira Lubin, these stars will always shine. Ernest Tubb, the great Red Foley, and Hank Williams bless his name. Though some are gone, they'll live forever in 